Good afternoon, St. Londoners. How are you? I'd like to recommend uh, to those of you who are interested that you search on YouTube or on the internet generally, uh, perhaps on Wikipedia, the concept Grand Solar Minimum. Grand Solar Minimum. And if you can, see if you can find this, the Sky News Australia special report on <clears throat> the Grand Solar Minimum and how it gives the complete lie to global warming or the complete lie to aspects of the accepted global warming narrative. You may find it very, very interesting. And you may be interested to learn, uh, just generally speaking, that uh, scientists are now beginning to acknowledge that the records, historical records of weather patterns, in conjunction with this concept of grand solar minimum, suggest that we are this year entering that portion of a solar cycle. Like everything in life is a cycle, you know. A, a time to sow and a time to reap, you know, that verse from the Bible, a time to, to laugh and a time to cry and, and so on. Uh, so to the sun has a cycle and we are entering, we are now in the first year of an 11 year cold period of the sun. And that that 11 year cold period, maybe they're not sure, maybe one of the coldest of the 11-year uh, um, period. So let me put it to you this way. Perhaps I can explain better. You know that you have high tide and low tide uh, in the sea. Sometimes the high tide and the low tide are very close to one another. It's known as neap tide where the water doesn't go out very far and it doesn't come up very high. At other times, you have what is known as spring tides, when the low tide is very low and the high tide is very high. Now, if you can imagine that, then you can understand what I'm saying. Uh, let's call it a low tide period of the sun, the sun's cycle. And that this low tide period maybe one of the lowest low tides ever. Well, not, not ever, but um, in, they say, up to 200, maybe 400 years. And they're not altogether sure, but we may be entering an extremely cold period. So go and have a look at that, the Grand Solar Minimum. Grand Solar Minimum. Uh, you may find it very interesting. We find it interesting. Uh, and that's why St. Anders is discussing it. Mr. Miller and I have discussed it. And Kuni Maria and I have discussed it. Because it's good. It's healthy. It's intelligent. It's wise for us to be conscious of what may lie ahead for farms and farmers and farming. For our country's electricity consumption needs for the circumstances of human beings during a winter, etc., etc., etc. It goes all the way into what we've seen as prophecies. So it's not as um, funny, but off, off the beaten track uh, for St. Londoners as a, as a theme. It's, it's not as uh, far off the beaten track as it may seem at first. All right, then. Thanks, everybody. Cheerio. Bye-bye.